And welcome back to the Hot Lap as we are talking the Mexican Grand Prix. But significantly, we are talking another penalty issue, another controversial moment involving Max Verstappen. Surprise, surprise. Yes, the United States Grand Prix controversy kind of continues into Mexico as it's Lando Norris on one side, Max Verstappen on the other side. And we're asking, is Max Verstappen dangerous? Well... The pundits seem to think so. The stewards seem to think think so. McLaren seem to think seem to think so. Christian Horner, maybe not so much. Let's get into it. So welcome, welcome. As you can see here, these are the screenshots of Max Verstappen versus Lando Norris. As you can see, Carlos Sainz took the lead. Um, not on the first lap. It was Max Verstappen very much in the lead, but Carlos Sainz passed him. But at that first corner, Max Verstappen pushed Carlos Sainz off the track, we feel. But we're not going to be talking about that because this is far more spicy, far more juicy. As you can see, Lando Norris here is behind Max Verstappen. Um, this is uh, the kind of like the second DRS zone, let's say. And there we go, side by side. You can see that through the trees, very much side by side. Landon off very much with the advantage as they are breaking into the corner. And as you can see, Orlando Norris, very much like the United States Grand Prix, is ahead. And they're going in two by two. I mean, Carlos Sainz must be like, oh my gosh, these guys are going to hit me. Luckily, they didn't. And as you can see here, we're at the apex. And Lando Norris is just about ahead. And here again, Lando Norris just, I mean, Max is hitting the apex. But significantly, according to these guidelines, not regulations, guidelines, um, Lando, no, Lando Norris is ahead. But here's, here's, the, here's the issue here. Max Verstappen, obviously, obviously both having made the corner, then pushes he's either out of control of his car which is not good and pushes lando norris wide off the track and it's significantly though for max yes he stays on the track pushes Lando Norris wide lando, lando norris has absolutely no option but to go right across he ends up funny enough taking the lead but then uh, he allows carlos science carlos science to go by which you know i guess is kind of nice in a way but Let's look at the other. In Let's look at the other incident, shall we? Because there is another incident, and here we go. So this is a incident two on the same lap. Here we go. So, uh, Lando Norris, Max Verstappen. Now, this is after the slightly controversial moment where Lando Norris has decided to stay ahead. As you can see here, this is the corner. This is Lando Norris joining ahead of um, of. Both Carlos Sainz and Max Verstappen. Um, Lando Norris quite rightly lets Carlos Sainz by because, okay, I took the lead. There's no way he's going to keep that lead. But then Max Verstappen, obviously very close to him. Is it? I mean, Martin Brundle's come out and said it's the red mist. Did Max Verstappen red mist the heck out of this? Maybe. And as you can see, they're going, they're going to be going into a corner and Max pretty much just dive bombs Lando. Here we go. So they're, they're, they're close now. We're about to get to the corner. Max completely outbreaks himself. Very similar to the United States Grand Prix, except this time Max is the attacking driver. Um, and then Lando Norris side by side, but Max, there we go, into into the corner. Now, significantly, you could make an argument that Max Verstappen gets the apex, therefore he's entitled to the corner, according to the regulations. But no, no, he's completely out of control on his car. And then he just pushes, he just pushes Lando wide. They both go wide and they both go completely off the track. And then Max Verstappen chooses to stay ahead of Lando Norris, which I feel is really, really significant. Not particularly good. And it is significant because then, ergo, Max Verstappen then receives um, what is quite the quite the significant penalty, let's say. He receives... Um, he, he receives a 20-second penalty, two times 10 seconds, which we will get into it here. This guy is dangerous. It's the same as last time. That was Lando Norris on Max Verstappen. Absolutely, absolutely. I think that's really fair. And we've had the revised document. Um, this is by the stewards. So the stewards have received a report from the race director having considered the following. Max Verstappen, Oracle Red Bull Racing, time 2.20, session race, forcing another driver off the track. And obviously that 10-second penalty and two penalty points, a total of six. 
in the 12 month period. It said the stewards reviewed uh, the positioning martial system data, video, radio, and in car video evidence. And they said Norris was attempting to overtake on the outside of Verstappen at turn four. Norris was ahead of Verstappen at the entry, um, the apex, and towards the exit of the turn when he started being forced off track interesting they said the head of the apex but there we go the stewards believe the maneuver was done in a safe and controlled manner and that norris would have been able to make the maneuver on the track had he not been forced off the track by verstappen okay that's really significant the stewards believe that the maneuver was done in a safe and controlled manner and that norris would have been able to make the maneuver on the track had he not been forced off the track by verstappen norris cut the corner but immediately gave the position he gained back to sides. How is that different for the United States Grand Prix? The penalty is the standard in such cases. Competitors are reminded that they have the right to appeal um, certain decisions of the race stewards in accordance with Article 15. Um, and there we go. But, but I mean, how is, that, how is that different for the United States Grand Prix? And how is the other one different from the United States Grand Prix? But this time, Lando Norris got the penalty. I mean, yes, he kind of did make the pass. Let's have a look at this, shall we? Here we go. This is the, uh, uh, um, okay, let me just, for a clarification, on this side is Mexico, on that side, on the left side is Mexico, on the right side is the United States Grand Prix. Both of them, look, okay, I mean, the difference is the attacking driver, but gets pushed off the track, both of them do not make, do not make, do not make the track, yet Max Verstappen pushes him on the track, pushes both himself and Lando Norris on the track, none of them, I mean, Lando Norris does not get a penalty, quite rightly. But Max Verstappen does get a penalty for the Mexico one, but he doesn't get a penalty for the United States Grand Prix one. Where is the consistency there? Where is the consistency? I mean, and and quite rightly, um, Martin Brundle has come out and said that that was a dangerous move. And we see red mist with Max Verstappen far too much. We've been, I've been, we've been saying it here. I've been a bit lambasted in the comments section for, you know, saying that this is a massive flaw for Max Verstappen. And... I'm going to come out on a, go out on a whim here unless Max Verstappen changes his type of racing. Yes, it is exciting, but it is over the limit. How can you call this guy the best ever? How can anyone call this guy the best ever when you have to bully, when he has to bully the cars off the track? It is just that this particular race, he quite rightly got two penalties. And this all happened within the same lap. He does have the red mist. He does get a bit sweary at the, at, at, you know, over the radio, which is fine. It's a sport. But... Max Verstappen, in my opinion, um, for what it's worth, cannot race. Everyone says, oh, he's a great racer. Last No, you can't race when you push other drivers off the track. That is not a great racer. Is Max Verstappen dangerous? Yes, he is. Simply because if, it were, if Lando Norris had not gone out of the way there, there would have been an accident. Had Lewis not gone out of the way in Brazil, there would have been an accident. Had Lewis not gone out of the way in Saudi Arabia, there would have been an accident. Had Kimi Raikkonen um, not, not, not gone out of the way, I think Spa, was it 2016? There would have been an accident. Had Lewis not gone out of the way in Imola, the, um, uh, you know, in 2021, there would have been an accident. Had Lewis Hamilton not gone out of the way in Barcelona, in Spain in 2021, there would have been an accident. Had Carlos Sainz on turn one here not gone out of the way because of Verstappen's, you know, forcing people off the track, there would have been an accident. Had Orlando Norris not gone out of the way in America, there would have been an accident. Yeah. All with Max Verstappen. We'll speak to you soon. If you liked what you see, please give us a subscribe. If you completely disagree with me, comment below. Let me know. Maybe you want to come on the show. I'll quite happily debate you. Um, I'm not saying Max is the only the only driver that drives near the line, but I do feel at this point I'm quite happy to call him dangerous, flawed, a good in terms of his ability, an absolutely generational talent, but currently and unless he changes, a flawed generational talent. Subscribe if you want. We'll speak to you soon.